Hi, my name is Joanne Kennedy and I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how histamine can cause migraine. So histamine is part of our brain chemistry. We have histamine in the brain and it's important for certain processes like alertness and wakefulness and memory. But what can happen is histamine can build up in the brain and it will cause headache and migraine. So we need to think about what's going to cause an increase of histamine in the brain. And often it is estrogen. Okay, so if you have issues detoxifying estrogen and it gets into the brain at levels higher than they should be, it will increase histamine in the brain and will cause migraine. And often women are getting migraines at ovulation when estrogen is soaring or just before their periods when the progesterone drops, leaving estrogen unopposed. So the other thing that we need to understand is that uh, histamine that's driven from the gut so whether it's dysbiosis or SIBO or oxalates or simply being gluten intolerant will drive histamine in the gut. And histamine does get into the brain from the gut and increase histamine in the brain as well. So people with migraines will know this. They'll know that they eat, if they eat high histamine foods, alcohol, tomatoes, eggplant, spinach, these foods, citrus fruits, strawberries, these foods are really, really cause a migraine in a lot of people and these foods are high in histamine. Okay, so we need to understand that with migraine, we need to ensure that we are reducing all the histamine that's coming from the gut. So we need to be treating the gut. We often need to take Dow enzyme, which will help break down histamine foods. And for women, we really need to be working on estrogen detoxification. So that actually entails methylation. So we need to ensure methylation is working correctly as methylation detoxifies estrogen through the liver. You need to make sure your gut is working because you need to detoxify estrogen through the gut. And the catch with this is that you, if you have high histamine driven from the gut, it actually stimulates the ovaries to release more estrogen. Okay, so it's quite a vicious cycle. Okay, so with migraine, we're really looking at diet, we're looking at gut, we're looking at estrogen detoxification and, and methylation, and doing all these things can often um, provide a lot of relief for patients with migraines.